First, disconnect the lighting harness, safety cables, and two inch ball coupler from the towing vehicle. Pull the lock pin to release the tow bar's kickstand and let it fall into the kickstand position. You will hear an audible click when the lock pin resets in the new position. To relieve pressure from the lock pin, grasp the tow bar, not the kickstand, when pulling the lock pin. Rest the unhitched tow and stow on the kickstand. Next, pull the same lock pin to release and move the kickstand into its lift handle position. Roll the unit into the vicinity of where you will store your unit in stow mode. A minimum 8 foot by 8 foot area with a hard surface. Clear the area of any slip or trip hazards, small children or pets. For user safety reasons, we highly recommend that the tow and stow's conversion from one mode to another always be carried out by at least two people. While one person supports the weight of the unit, the other person can then easily release the lock pin at the deck end of the tow bar. This allows the tow bar, which will now double as a lift lever, to be placed into its angled conversion position. Listen for the click and visually check to ensure that the lock pin is set in the conversion position slot in the tow bar mounting bracket. Please note that all of the lock pins on the tow and stow function in similar fashion and will release smoothly when they are not under pressure from the part they secure. A slight lift on that part will ease the pin's release. Two people lift the unit. We recommend one standing to the side using the built-in grab rail and the other using the tow bar as a lift lever. As the unit is lifted upward, the two people are sharing a lift load of only about 120 pounds. Due to the tow and stow's unique design, the lift actually becomes easier as the unit goes up. When the unit reaches its balance or equilibrium point toward the end of the lift, the person on the tow bar slash lift handle in fact needs to pull back a little bit to guide the unit as it settles fully onto the tailgate's glide pucks. Push in slightly on the axle to relieve some of its weight from the lock pins. Pull the two lock pins to release the axle and lower the axle and wheels into the retracted stow position. Pull the lock pin on the tow bar lift lever and lower it all the way down until the hitch coupler rests over the axle assembly. Slide the unit up against a building's wall or inside your garage and there you have your lockable storage unit with all the trailer hardware hidden from sight ready to store your various seasonal items. The Tow and Stow's key lockable tailgate is load-bearing and will also accept loading ramps for large or heavy items such as motorcycles, ATVs, or up to 42-inch deck lawn tractors. The unit's doors can easily be removed when placed in the unlocked and open position. Door removal is accomplished by simply releasing the spring-loaded hinge pin located inside the tamper-resistant steel guard located at the top of the door hinge near the unit's roof line. The three included shelves can be used as cargo management devices to separate or secure cargo in tow mode, as well as function as traditional shelves in stow mode. The shelves slash cargo separators can be placed in seven vertical positions and can even be placed horizontally in tow mode to create two separated cargo levels. They can also be placed at the top of the sidewalls to create a tabletop work surface. There are handy recessed storage bins for ropes, bungees, ratchet straps, or other items conveniently located behind pop-out panels on each sidewall. Note the tie-down D-ring located below the storage bin. There are three such D-rings on each side of the unit. All six of these D-ring tie-down points are anchored through the trailer's deck and into its steel subframing. When you need to use your stowed tow and stow in tow mode, first empty it of all stored items. Then slide it away from its position against a wall. Again, make sure the surrounding area is clear of all slip or trip hazards, small children, and pets. Release the lock pin holding the tow bar lift lever in its stowed position, making sure the lock pin clicks into the conversion position slot on the mounting bracket. Pull the two lock pins and lift the axle wheel assembly 180 degrees into the tow position. 
Listen for the audible click of the lock pins snapping into place. While one person assists by grasping a grab bar on one side of the unit, the other person grasps the lift handle at the end of the tow bar lift lever and, walking backwards, gradually pulls the upright unit toward him or herself. When the unit reaches its balance or equilibrium point, the person on the lift lever should push up on the lever so the bar and lock pins slide into the top of the notch slot in the mounting bracket in which it rests. This will allow the person to more easily feel and brace the weight of the unit as it converts downward and makes for a smooth transition into the tow mode. When the unit is fully resting on its wheels, the person on the side of the tow and stow should support the weight of the unit while the other person releases the tow bar and lifts the tow bar into the tow mode position. Roll the tow and stow over to your towing vehicle, hook up the 2 inch ball into the hitch coupler, attach the safety cables and the wiring harness, and start your hauling.